A 17-year-old boy from Newcastle died yesterday in a drowning accident. It happened at a creek in Elwood City. First News wanted to look into the dangers of swimming in open waters. 27 First News reporter Brittany Bissell did that, and she joins us live in the studio now to tell us what she found out. Brittany. Yeah, Dan, swimming is one of summer's biggest activities, but the harsh reality is it can be very dangerous, especially if you're swimming in open water. Now, a big reason for that, not being able to see below the surface of the water, which means you can't tell if there's big rocks or debris that you could get tangled up in. Now, Safe Kids Worldwide has some alarming statistics. In the U.S., about 1,000 children die from drowning each year, and most of those occur in open water, such as rivers and lakes. Half of those open water drownings happen to teenagers between the age of 15 and 19. And listen to this, even drowning scares sends 7,000 children to the emergency room each year. There are still families out there where a child almost drowned and did not present to the emergency room. So there's a large number of individuals out there that aren't even accounted for. Now, Safe Kids Worldwide suggests parents should have a designated water watcher for their children, learn rescue skills and CPR, and of course, always wear that life jacket. Live in studio, Brittany Bissell, 27 First News this morning.